Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if it is your first time here around here. So today I'm out with Sherlock Jones and we're in Leeds City Centre. Why are we in Leeds City Centre? Kill the bull protest, obviously. Um, there's a heavy, heavy police presence. Loads of media support officers. There's a few inspectors and chief inspectors about. We've got the yellow babes, the orange babes. Um, let's check it out. So we've got quite the gathering already. There's a fair few of them. As you can see, we've got police covering all the exits. We've got another superintendent over there. We've got all the media liaison officers over here, all grouped up with each other. And uh, we've got a fair few people in the middle, so let's get in there, guys. Let's go check it out. We've got we've got loads of cones on the floor here and best needs are to mark social distancing measures um, asking people to stay apart I'm assuming and we'll just see from there how it goes but we'll have a look and um, we'll see if it gets loud it or not so here we are guys we're up at the front we're at the front of the protest let's say we've got some speakers up here so they're ready to do some speech speeches I assume um, looks like there's a few um, mainstream Photographers here, by that I mean mainstream media, newspapers, etc. Dotted about. But we'll, just, we'll stay tuned and um, we'll monitor what happens whilst we're here. I've got <laughs> what have we got, Jack? We have got, we're now part of it, guys. We are part of this whole uh, operation. We are part of Kill the Bill. <laughs> oh, comrades, it's fantastic to be here after so long without doing physical demonstrations. But there couldn't be a more important reason to come out and demonstrate safely here today. My name's Jane Aitchison and I'm the president of Leeds Trade Union Council. I'm not too sure how important that is, but yeah. all of the trade unions in Leeds, and we bring together all the trade unionists across Leeds, and they send their solidarity and support to this demonstration today. We've got an incredibly long and proud history of demonstrating and organising protest in Leeds. In the 1890s, there was a huge gas strike and gas was really important because it powered everything. It put the lights on in Leeds and it was a massive strike for fairer conditions and better pay. And the Tories who ran Leeds then, they put up 10,000 scabs in Leeds Town Hall to undermine the strike. And the next morning, And that strike was won, brothers and sisters, by the power of that protest. over 
the last year of COVID and of lockdown. What we have learned is that when the going gets tough, it is trade unions who have your back. In December, when COVID was rising rapidly and the Tories still wanted everyone to go to work every day and the teachers were screaming about the level of infection in their classroom and in their communities, it was the unions that forced the change at that point. It's trade unions who eventually managed to get rights, holiday pay and sick pay for Uber drivers in the last couple of weeks. And it's trade unions that will stop the really nasty fire and rehire that will stop all of us from having job security if we don't support the unions in winning that. You know, even Meghan Markle, yes, you heard me say that right, Meghan Markle told Oprah, you might have seen that interview, that in her old job there was a union and it protected her. So keep protesting, brothers and sisters, and keep joining a union and get active in your union because together we are stronger. Together we can win. Thank you. Thank you, Leeds. Uh, I stand here as representative of People Before Profit and a local historian. And for 300 years in Leeds, the rulers have put themselves before the people. So if we go back to the 1720s, there were corn riots over the price of corn because the market forces were pushing prices so high people began to starve in large numbers. Thousand people demonstrated and were cut down by the local yeomanry. 37 people killed. Our very own Peter Lou. People demanding that their food should be put before the profit of the rich and powerful. It proceeded from there. <laughs> In 1758, another protest over the right to walk down our streets. In Beeston, South Leeds, there was a protest up Beeston, by the home ground of Mighty because they were being charged to walk into town on a turnpike. Again, seven people killed by the yeomanry. As the working class got bigger and more organised, then the whole series of small but effective unions came to rise. In the 1790s, there were celebrations in Leeds in favour of the French Revolution. Fantastic display of international working class solidarity. Eighteen nineteen saw Peterloo, and what followed after Peterloo was mass gatherings in Leeds. People horrified at the sight of unarmed protesters being cut down in Manchester, and then followed in the eighteen thirties a mass movement of workers refusing to see their wages cut, refusing to see de-skilling. We call it fire and hire now. The Luddism and the Chartist movements in Leeds were massive. The estimate in 1842 of the protest in Holbeck Moor goes up to 100,000. Leeds didn't have 100,000 people. They came from all parts of West Yorkshire to protest in favour of democracy and not dictatorship, which is what was happening. As the, as the 19th century proceeded, 
We saw fights for the 10 hour day. We saw fights against slavery. We saw fights to democratize local councils and the church. All these in were engaged by ordinary people standing up for their rights. We all know about that, guys. We all know about that. Fantastic people like William Morris, Frederick Engels, Frederick Douglass, the Pankhurst, all came to Leeds and were greeted by ordinary people supporting their causes. The, 19th, the 20th century saw the starts of the Independent Labour Party, the Labour Party, again, the suffrage movement, a fantastic movement, demanding democracy and the right to vote. In the 1930s, the general strike was solid in Leeds, solid. And that was then followed by unemployed workers fighting for decent uh, benefits. And in the 1930s, the International Brigade, you go to the town hall, there's a memorial to them, the International Brigade that went and fought fascism in Spain. So if we look at what's happened more recently, Jay mentioned three of the big protests, but you could multiply that by tenfold. As people start to protest demanding their rights, the civil rights movement, CND, who's got a, a, a banner here, you, you had two, three minor strikes, uh, you had women campaigning against the attacks on abortion rights, reclaim the night. You have reclaim the night, take to the streets, and then you have pride, take to the streets, demanding rights for trans, gender, and gay and... Uh, protests that led to pride at the end of the day. In the last five years we've seen trans pride acti activists on these steps demanding decent transgender uh, legislation in the country. We've seen people... <laughs> we've seen XR, the climate strikers, all these people are simply demanding a change to society. Fundamentally, this bill will make it 10 times more difficult to change society. Therefore, we should march, we should organize, and we should fight back. I'm going to read a piece. I'm a spoken word artist. I'm going to read a little piece, sorry, Sharp that I wrote yesterday. It's called, Forever Hold Your Peace. Slowly stitching lips silenced by a suppressed society. Muting complaints of fascism, freedoms and futures with fear of fines and persecution. Repressed, restrained and restricted. Removing democratic human rights. In plain sight, we must fight. Left with little alternative, thanks to the Conservatives. Rethink, reskill, reboot. Regress, recede, retreat. Bound and gapped by a bill in a marriage of inconvenience. Protect your right to protest or forever hold your peace. Big up. Guys, so I'm just going to give you my little thought on this right now. now I think that Kill the Bill is, it is rather important. I, I feel that what we do, doing as audits and stuff on a daily basis, that is a form of protest. And now if this new bill passes and they can say, well, if we're annoying anyone doing stuff like that, then they can send us away, arrest us, fine us, etc. Now, we can't stand for that. So all of us in this community, this is very, very vital to us and to what we do. So stand to all people and share the movement. Go guys.
lost my city. Get lost, I'm on seven, bro. Get lost, Numbers, guys. Big numbers. This is how we do it right here. Build the build, guys. All the signs. away from us bit by bit little bit yeah man Cheers, you good thanks bro yeah, thanks for holding the thing up man big up <laughs> all right man <laughs> you got a channel as well yes bro yes bro let's go sure what's done why not man <laughs> just see the support of there guys Yeah, guys, I've just got this in front, down to the front with all the media and whatnot. Uh, we're just waiting for these to start marching down. So we're off, guys. We're now marching. The police are keeping the line in front, which they do. Jack, wait for a few of them to cross by and we'll start walking up with them. coming to an end for us we have got a different project that we need to go get to today so this is the end for us by us i mean me and sherlock jones we need to get ourselves up to bel isle because we've got some up there that we need to do so to everyone who's watching as always you know what i'm gonna say as always guys stay safe peace and respect